welcome back everyone so today i will be explaining that how to edit any kind of pdf with the ace thinker so this is one of the best pdf editor for fully converting editing creating or managing any kind of pdf so you will have to come to this website of ace thinker the link will be in the description and once you come up here it says ace pdf editor and converter all in one pdf editor converter creator reader and manager for all your pdf solution so you get tons of options on this editor that you can do with your pdf document so once you come up here you can click on free download you can also go with the paid version if you want that there should not be any kind of watermark so download the file and then you have to run the setup file and once it will be installed and you will be getting this kind of dashboard of ace pdf now here you get many different options like create you can edit a pdf you can convert a pdf or you can combine it now let's see if you want to edit any kind of PDF, then you have to click on edit. Then you have to locate to the location where you have the PDF document. Select it. Click on open. And the PDF editor will now be coming up. Now here you can make any kind of changes. So let's say if you want to edit this text, then you can add anything over here. Or do anything whatever you want to. A part of this, if you look on the top, you get many different options like add text, add image link watermark background header and footer so now let's see if you want to add any text over here wherever you want to add the text you need to make a right click on it and here you get an option of add text just select it and here you can add anything that you want to okay and similarly if you want to add any kind of image then again you have to right click on the place where you want to add the image then click on add image now select the image from here whichever you want to add then click on open and now the image will be added now you can drag and drop this image wherever you want to you can also resize the image and you can drag to the place wherever you want the image to be inserted similarly if you want to add any kind of link then you can edit the link if you want to add any kind of watermark then you can click on watermark click on add watermark just type the text that you want to be as a watermark like i want crown geek then you can adjust the opacity you can also change the style and you can rotate to the place wherever you want to and then simply you have to click on apply and the watermark will be added over here now part of this you also have the background option and from here you can remove the background or if you want to add any kind of background to any kind of place then you can also do that simply you have to click on add background then you have to choose the image if you want to change the color then you can also choose the color like from white background you can make it to black or any other color but if you want a background as an image then you can select to image choose a file that you want to add as a background select it and then you have to click on apply now part of this if you click on the header and the footer section so it says add header and footer remove header and footer so you can do both of the option from here now next if you look on the very top you get many more options like form you can add any kind of single box check box drop down menu over here a part of that if you click on the protect option so you can add any kind of digital signature or if you want to set any password for this document then you can also do that now next if you click on convert now you can convert this document to word to excel to ppt text html or convert to images and now next we have the batch option if you click on the batch and now here you can convert a pdf you can compress it or you can convert the images to pdf so let's see if i want to compress this document i will click on compress then i will click on the plus icon and locate to the pdf that i want to compress now this is the reason I was saying that this is the full PDF editor with a lot of advanced options. Okay, so now let's make some changes and see that how exactly it work. So what I will do here, I will just uh, make some changes like and I want to remove it. So I will remove this logo from here. So I will right click on it and choose delete. So this logo has been deleted. Now next, let's say I don't want this one. So again, I will select it, right click on it and choose delete. Okay, so once you're all done, finally you have to click on file and then click on save or you can click on save as 
and just save this document like i can give a name like is edited doc and then i will be saving this document in the download only and then i have to click on save now if i go to the download section so now here in the download you can see that we have this new pdf that we edited now if i open it so you can see it's up and i can see the watermark i can see the text that i removed it's not anymore over here and if i scroll down you remember i removed the note section over here so that is also not appearing over here okay guys so this is exactly how it work and you can see that it gives you a lot of features you can edit any kind of document you can convert to any kind of excel sheet or any kind of word or any kind of images uh, you can add any kind of digital signature you can add any kind of password so lots of features everything is available with this pdf editor so you should go ahead and try right now it's absolutely free with the watermark and if you don't want the watermark and enjoy without watermark then you can go with the paid version if i talk about their pricing so you can come over here you can see that these are the pricing for one year it only cost you 39.95 dollar and this is for the lifetime you can go ahead and purchase it and you only need to pay for one time you can also try for one month subscription that is only for 19 dollar so it's all up to you if you want to go with the paid version or the free version the rest is all your choice and that's all guys for today hopefully you found this video helpful and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye